in the tech sector, we've spent a lot of time on technology adoption issues. And there's a model called the technology adoption life cycle that, that really does seem to be get reflected over and over and over again. And without getting too much into the details of the model, basically there's a visionary front end of the model where the early adopters go. And then there's this period we called the chasm where there's a delay in the market and the visionaries are already in there and they're kind of wondering why everybody else isn't coming in. But the pragmatic people on the other side of the chasm are going, boy, I don't see enough people doing this yet to, to do it. So there can often be a prolonged lull in the adoption of a technology during that chasm period. And then the third part is when they actually, the pragmatic people do start to come in. And usually that starts with a, a subset of the community who have very special problems that the new technology really does solve very well. And so they go, well, I'm not sure I would use it for everything, but I certainly would want to use it for this. And that may not be in every segment of the market. That may only be in some segments. And then as enough of that shows success, then the larger pragmatist community goes, look, I think this is now ready for prime time. And then you often see a very accelerated adoption. So it's this weird thing. I sometimes call it the junior high dance problem because there's the time when the boys are on one side of the gym and the girls are on the other side of the gym. It's like, I don't think this is ever going to start. And then at some time, they just, it collapses and then everybody's in the middle of the dance floor. And, and technology adoption works a little bit like that. What I would say is, for the middle firm, the, the rule should be, we will not take another client on a non-digital basis. We have plenty of existing clients that are on a non-digital basis, and it may take us quite a while to sort of re-engineer those relationships. And some of them may never get re-engineered. And at some point, as a firm, we're going to have to decide, do we resign those clients? Do we try to pass them off to a different kind of firm that is going to stay non-digital? Because there's always a market for, for the late adopter. You know, there, there'll, there'll be some sm small set of firms that will succeed by saying, we're never going to use digital ever. You know, we use quill pens and green eye shades. And you know what? There's a bunch of people that go, thank God for you because you're exactly the people I'm looking for. But the growth of the market will be in the digital, in the digital domain for all the reasons that we talked about.